Hi friends and welcome back. Today I'm part of a collab hosted by The Productive Mama and we're all showing how we're using our bullet journals or planners. So I bullet journal and I decided this year I was just going to use a mixed media sketchbook. Last year I just started bullet journaling so I used a gridded notebook that I just bought at the store. So here's just kind of a flip through of the beginning of my bullet journal. I have a key that I copied from Pinterest and a spacing cheat sheet page. This this is one of my favorite pages. I just drew a grid. I folded this page. I got this idea from Amanda Rachel Lee um, and I just folded my sheet and drew those lines and I took a different sheet out of my notebook and folded that up so I could get the vertical lines. And then whenever I need to know where half of a page is vertically or where any of these lines are, I can just take whatever page I'm working on go to that spacing cheat sheet page and I have those lines already drawn out. So I just kind of fold my page up a little bit and I can find those lines and make a mark and know that's halfway of the page and I don't have to measure it every time. Here is my future log. This calendar was, it came in the mail and it was the perfect size. So I just cut it off and used it in my bullet journal. And then I have a page for goals and milestones, gratitude, wins, ideas and places I've been and places I want to go and then I have a page for things to consume so books movies TV shows or music then I have a page for future house stuff and addresses my address page I used a lot last year whenever I need an address I would write it in I also added a cleaning calendar that I copied from Pinterest this is new this year and I'm really excited about it. So what I did was take all of our names and I just made squares. So every month I could add a picture. So these are pictures from January and I added a sheet for every person in our family and enough squares for the whole year. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Groovebook. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I like to print my pictures monthly through Groovebook and I've done multiple years where I get 100 pictures a month from Groovebook and they even date them and I just love this. So for this page, I just do a grid in my photo grid and then print it out with my Groovebook. When it comes in the mail, I just take that page out and put it in my bullet journal and you can get a book free using code Mickey 38 and I'll put that in the description box for you as well and this is how I end up doing my monthly spreads so I don't do weekly spreads I tried it last year and we use our phones for our calendars so it really just didn't make sense to do weekly calendars so I just put a to-do list and ideas and then a box of what to buy and a little doodle for the month. So when things get filled in, like the March collab that I'm doing right now, I just fill in the box according to the key in the front of my bullet journal and I'm ready to go. And anything that doesn't carry over or didn't get done, like I still need to buy two wooden crates, I just move that over into the next month. So I just carry everything over that I need. Then if I have anything else going on, I just add that into my bullet journal. So here is our garden plan and it's just right on a page. And then here is what our April is going to look like. So a to-do list, an idea box, and a to-buy box. And I also added a reminder box here so I could put dates that I might need to remember, like Easter, student conferences are in April. So I thought that might be handy. Like day to day, we look at the calendars on our phone. but just to have this out and specific dates to remember seems to be helpful. When I first started my bullet journal, I was a little bit overwhelmed maybe with how everything would look and I really didn't bullet journal a whole lot because it wasn't pretty and I couldn't figure out what to add or I had creative block. So this year I'm not trying to 
not reinvent the wheel, right? So I'll just go on Pinterest and find an image that I like, like this April image, and basically use my phone as a tracing box. So I turn my brightness all the way up on this picture, can put it right underneath of my notebook, and just copy this April image and I will post the source for this image in the description box below for you guys too. Um, so just every month I just find an image on Pinterest that I like and I just add it into my book so I'm working kind of smarter and not harder and then I'm feeling good about what I am doodling in my book. And once I have it all traced in pencil, I go back with my Tombow dual brush pens. I love these markers. They are blendable. I will link them for you guys in the description box as well. And I just trace over with the black Tombow and then I fill it in with some of my colors. Like I said, these markers are blendable and Tombow sells a blending palette, but I just use the box that they come in because it's plastic. I can pick up the pigment from the pens and use my blender marker and just blend right where I need to without needing that blender palette. And another hack that I use when I'm doing my spreads is to just use the Sharpie box that holds all of my Sharpies. Sometimes I use the Tombow box, it just all depends. And I just use that as a straight edge to make the boxes for my spreads. They are already squares, so sometimes I trace the whole box and leave it as a square, and other times I just use it as a straight edge and just eyeball it. I like that my whole bullet journal is kind of like an imperfect style so the boxes don't have to necessarily be straight and they don't have to be perfect and I just I, don't, I just love my bullet journal this year. I'm using it so much more and I'm just I'm really impressed with it. <laughs> I'm really proud of it. And then what I do to display my book, I just bought this display easel at Dollar Tree and I actually leave my journal bullet journal out just like this so I can see it it's in my kitchen it's there all the time and I always know what's on our to-do list I can always jot down an idea that I have I whatever we need to buy I know it's right there thanks so much for watching guys as always you can find more from us here make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures check out the playlist with all of the other great bullet journal and planner ideas. Give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you have any planner or bullet journal hacks. Bye guys.